Okay, eight minutes. <laughs> Give it up. Wow. Hallie, um, yeah. both Mark and Eric spoke about creating a culture with the Orlando Pride. Mm -hmm. What role does a player uh, sort of play in creating a culture, and how difficult is it to change the culture of a team from one year to the next? Um, great questions. I think. Um, you know, you have to just bring your best, you have to control what you're able to control, which is, you know, your work ethic and your attitude. And I think um, understanding that no other player is more important um, than anyone else. And I think that we are learning that um, so well this year. I think it's so great to have somebody come in that, you know, makes every single player feel like they're the most important player. And I think that if we continue to create that positive, um, that positive atmosphere, uh, that will translate for sure on the field and I think it's really healthy for this group because last year you could see that you know we did have kind of individual players um, or just playing more individually than as a collective group and I think this year it's going to be um, quite the opposite uh, which is so enjoyable to go to training every day because we're learning something new. Um, Mark is so knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the game. Um, and he's about creating this safe environment, this atmosphere where um, everyone is, is important. And I think that's crucial for a team because um, you're only as good as your weakest link. And I think we really need that in this, this team this year because players are going to be popping in and out um, because of the World Cup and because of international duties. And then we're going to have to have other players step up and in big roles and, and create um, you know, uh, play big in big games. And I think that, you know, we have to keep this positive atmosphere, um, which is gonna be important for us moving forward. But we're so excited. I mean, he's brought in such a great energy and passion to the group that I think was missing last year. And you can see that every day in training, everyone wants to wake up and come to work and it's so enjoyable to show up and learn something new. And um, he's so detail specific that you know you're going through activities during training and it's just little specific movements or footwork stuff or the way your body is angled or um, the pace of your pass or you know just certain little things and details that really we weren't talking about last year and that is the difference and you're paying more attention that when you receive a ball of how your body's turned or just little things like that that's really helping the pace of your pass with the five yard pass or like a longer 20 yard pass. It's like, it's really, really important. Um, and then just movement off the ball, little things like that, that, that those little details that we need. It's been really incredible and it's only been a week and, you know, week and a half. So um, there's exciting, um, exciting little moments that, you know, we're having uh, so far and I can see that we're going to apply that to the season and it's, I'm, I'm really hoping it's going to be much more positive than last. Mark spoke about this year being in a new direction for yes. the team. Mm -hmm. How does that new direction lead the team back to the playoffs uh, after missing the last year? I think the new direction, a new mentality, uh, a new passion, um, not only for each other to be out there, but also um, for him and for the coaching staff, but for the fans and the community. I think we have um, this just a new, uh, I guess, refreshing um breath of fresh air. I think it's just like a refreshing outlook on the season and how we want to play soccer. And it's not just going to be a kick and run game. Um, we're going to be looking to play soccer and we're going to be looking to play um, with confidence, um, with passion. Um, and, and he's always saying use more of your brains um, than your brawn. So I think it's going to be exciting to get out there and actually play and pass and move and not just have a kick and run game and see how fast you can press and see how fast you can run. And that's not what football is about all the time. It's about um, the quality of the game and the quality of the passing, the quality of the plays. And that's what he's instilling in us. And I think we kind of are like taking taking a second and we're all exhaling because it's so refreshing. Um, you know, when, when you walk out to practice, you want to just exhale and not inhale and be like, oh God, what are we gonna do today? It's actually, wow, this is so fun. This is nice, this is enjoyable, and we're all understanding where each other are on the field and, and the movements of each other and on and off the ball. And it's just, and it's only been a week and a half, and it's just like, it's clicking. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like, yeah. And especially to have everyone back uh, this week is, has been so enjoyable to finally implement those little details in training. So it's actually really fun. He's bringing the fun back into the game. 
Ali, speak to the, the leadership element. Um, as, you know, uh, we know it's a week and a half, yeah. and you know, given the, the detail that he provided, even during the press conference, he, he seems to be very big in growing the, you know, the yeah. player as a person. So mm -hmm. kind of speak to that from him developing the leadership in the team and then how that trickles down to the other players as well. Yeah, it all starts with the leadership of a manager and a coach. And I think that you have to create the safe environment of where um, you're going to get the best out of your players. And I think that's exactly what he's doing. And we are human at the end of the day. We're people. We're not just, um, you know, teammates and players. And, you know, that is a piece of us. But at the end of the day, you have to realize you're dealing with human beings. Um, and the way you treat each other, um, I think, is so important, um, especially even from teammate to teammate, but also coach to, coach to player. I think he already has so much respect for each and every one of us that that's where you start. Um, you know, even if he hadn't met us, it's it, we haven't done anything to lose that respect. So he says first, like, I respect you and you respect me. And, and that's like first and foremost. And then now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and, and um, I'm going to get the best out of you. And I think he understands how to do that. You don't speak to the players the same. You can maybe right. tell me something and kind of yell at me more than maybe someone else. They need maybe a little more cuddle or, um, <laughs> you know, a little bit more positivity. Um, but he understands that. And I think that is the first Thing that uh, is so important about a manager and a coach to have a good understanding of how to get the best out of players because you can't treat everybody the same. Sure. Um, and I think that's that's what is trickling down. And then I see that and I'm like, okay, I need to maybe go to the younger ones a little bit more this year and say, all right, this is like, you know, what has helped me and what I think, you know, he's asking of you and like, let's try and, you know, work that out. And tomorrow's a new day. Let's, you know, do this or that. Um, or if you guys need anything, come to me and then I can ask him or the coaching staff or any of the other leaders on the team or the veteran players. I think it's important to have that connection. Um, and that's what we're learning and seeing every day. How important is it just to have the core of the team still back last year? I mean, basically the entire team. Is really back. good. It's really healthy for us. You know, usually when um, I can go back to my FFC Frankfurt days where we would only fill two holes maybe every season. And I played there for five and a half years. You don't want to just swap out your whole team and change things around. You want to have that core group and have that spine of the team. And then you want to fill in the little holes here and there when you need it. Um, I think obviously in WSL it's really difficult to like swap out so many players because it doesn't, I mean, there, does, there is movement, but you know, uh, in a World Cup year specifically, it doesn't happen too often. Um, but I think that's what's healthy because you're starting to create this mentality and uh, uh, a, a new environment for players to come into. But if you have that core group that has already instilled that mentality or the new fresh mentality that he wants, then uh, it's not as difficult to kind of bring players in and say, look, this is the expectation, this is a standard, and if you can't do that, then like you probably won't be here too long. So I think it's important to have your key players, and you only fill a few spots each season. Do you think that based on last year's results, the league will be underestimating you guys? Are you guys going to be embracing more of an underdog role, or how do you think that will um, I think we're, you know, top of the league no matter what our, <laughs> you know, um, previous results have been. I'm just that confident because um, I look to my left and my right. I know how good my teammates are and I know how good our coaching staff is that I know um, for a fact this year we're going to have, you know, good performances um, and just better direction and um, just better vision. So I'm already excited just by being back a week and a half and um, I'm willing to carry a lot of that load as well um, because of the World Cup coming up and I know I have to step up a little bit more but uh, I don't think we think about that it's obviously a new year um, I don't mind playing the under underdog role if people think they're gonna come in here and it's gonna be easy breezy then good on them because we're gonna just you know crush it um, so I think you know obviously we didn't have our best season and you know we didn't play our best but now that we have a new coach I don't think any I think we can play that to our advantage because no other team is gonna see how we previously played and you know, with our new mentality, our new structure, and everything, um, the new tactical plan is going to be a lot different. So they're all going to, I think, be a little bit skeptical of what we're going to come out and play like. Hello? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>